The infamous Silk Road was actually an early adopter of Bitcoin. So what is the darknet and what does it have to do with cryptocurrencies? The term a darknet usually refers to the part of the internet which is not indexed by search engines like Google that skim past surface web, making up a portion of the so-called deep web. The deep web contains content that's not indexed by search engines such as your personal email address, a brand's gated pages or your online banking account. To access sites in the dark net, you actually need to use a special software as there are encrypted networks to hide the identities of people running the sites and also the services that are connected to them. So although we all know the reputation of the dark net and what it has, it's not all bad. Just because a site or service is running encrypted, hidden networks don't necessarily mean that it's illegal or dubious. Journalists living in countries with oppressive regimes, political whistleblowers and activists actually utilize the dark net to communicate online without leaving a digital footprint and needing to reveal their identities. So what is Silk Road? Well, Silk Road was one of the most popular darknet sites. It described itself as an anonymous marketplace. Silk Road was utilized by its users as a black market for all types of, in most countries, illegal activities, like buying and selling drugs, credit card data, even guns and other weapons. So what's the connection between the dark net and Bitcoin? The Silk Road black market was launched in February 2011, symbolizing the dark side of cryptocurrency. The site used Bitcoin as a means of payment. In this case, the features of Bitcoin, anonymity, ease of cross-border transactions and finality of settlement were a perfect vehicle for criminals to conduct their illegal activities on the site. Within a few months of the launch of Silk Road, the Bitcoin price rose from $1 to over 30 US dollars, which many people believe came down to the increased attention of cryptocurrencies gained to media coverage of the marketplace of the dark net. However, these price developments also led to increasing attention from the US government and the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, who shut down Silk Road in October 2013. More recently, the privacy coin Monero has become the cryptocurrency of choice for conducting illegal transactions in the dark net. Monero is an altcoin that was founded in 2014 and has been gaining ground because nearly all details of transactions, including the digital addresses of senders and receivers, as well as transaction values, are concealed. Monero is also popular among crypto jackers who hack into computers and steal other people's power supplies to mine their own cryptocurrencies. So in line with this, cybercrime and the issue of privacy coins are on the agenda of regulatory authorities around the globe, measurements including more stringent user registration processes and potentially asset freezing on crypto exchanges are potential courses of action. In the meantime, the US government is working on developing state-of-the-art blockchain forensic analysis tools for tracing privacy coin transactions, and Japan has passed a ban on Japanese exchanges offering privacy coins altogether. So what are you expecting from the future of privacy coins? Based on the news of the dark net that we've covered today, let me know in the comments. Well, that's all for this video. We have plenty of other videos like this on our channel, so subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to keep up to date with our regular content.